Yo! What's up everyone? Welcome in. Let me pause this music. Alright. What's up everyone? It is Spooky Friday! It's time for the new Fears to Fathom episode, which I've been very, very excited for. Uh... I think this one is going to be about two hours-ish. I think this one's gonna be pretty long, so we're in for a pretty- we're gonna be here a while, probably. Because <laughs> if something is two hours, I'm probably going to make it about three. So let's hope Wi-Fi can, uh, and computer can, can, uh, keep it together tonight. Hopefully. But anyways, welcome in everyone. Let's see. Nutty, why you bonk me as soon as I go live? Why you do that to me? Why you do this? Why do you do this? Also, what's up, Pika? Welcome in. Thank you so much for the resub. 11 months. One more month and you and Bexa will be in, will have been here a year. A whole freaking year. That doesn't even sound right, dude. At all. Let me make sure the game's up enough for y'all. I just need to... Maybe I just need to turn it up for me. Okay. Also, what's up, pal? Welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's out of love. Hmm. Hmm. I see. I constantly get bullied here. Why is that? Why is that? Alright. I don't know why the audio seems weird to me. Okay, I, I guess that's fine. Completion time plus 30 minutes. No. Usually in these Fears to Fathom games, I usually get lost at least once. Um. I usually do get lost at least once in these. Um, I know Woodbury... Not Woodbury. Uh, Ironbark Lookout. I think I got lost once or twice. Which I'm very... Speaking of which... I'm very much looking forward to see how they how they made this one, how scary it's going to be. Because Ironbark Lookout to me was pretty spooky. Like, it was pretty scary. So I'm looking forward to see how they how they handled this one. Funny because I popped in the chat, said hello, he gifted me a sub, then he said, I just gifted my wife a sub. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all are great. I appreciate the support. That you both you and Bex have given me over the past year. It's been super sweet and nice of y'all. Thank you, thank you. So yeah. Uh, I remember getting lost in, in the last game. And I believe I got lost in the game before that too. Carson House? Not knowing what to do. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Guarantee, guarantee at least a minimum of three hours will be here. If computer kun allows. And Wi-Fi kun. Okay. Just want to make sure everything here looks good. Have you seen the last pic I posted of the salt puppet? I have not. I've been, uh, napping this afternoon. I've been taking a pretty decent cat nap this afternoon. As soon as I got off work, I, uh, which I finished kind of early-ish. I settled down, watched a movie, or was like turned on a movie. And I, I freaking passed out, dude. I passed out for like a few hours. And uh, after I woke up, I ended up, you know, showering, eating supper, and now I'm here. So I've uh, not really had too much time to... Uh... I'm gonna look in the Discord though really quick. Oh, it's super cute. you done a really good job, Pika. That's really cute. What's up, Skagos? Welcome in. Yeah, we're doing a spooky game tonight. 
as we usually do on Friday nights, as usually, as usual, Oh, uh, Skagos, thank you so much for the resub. Whoa, you've been here over a year. If I remember correctly, you were here before I was even a live 2D VTuber. I think you were here whenever I was PNG. So that's crazy. I think if I remember correctly. Yuppers, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Thank you so much for the resub. It's much appreciated. Thank you also for all your support as well. That's It's very sweet. That you've been here for so long. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think we're getting ready to... Just about getting ready to start here. Just trying to think if I have any more updates for anyone. I do not. I don't have anything to yap about today. This week was largely... I wouldn't say boring... But nothing really, nothing much happened. I have nothing, I'm sorry, I, I have nothing to yap about. Alright, let's see. What's up, close? Welcome in, it's good to see you, good to see you. Also, what's up, Bex? What's up, what's up, what's up? Hope y'all are doing well, hope y'all are doing well. I sub auto renew so I don't have the note of pop. Ah. I've already- I've got it taken care of, Close. I've got it. I'm way ahead of all of you. I'm ahead of the game here. Heh. Heh. But you spray me. Don't spray. Don't spray the kitty. I haven't done nothing. The way you talk reminds me of home, so watching you and supporting you, thing you do what you love is what I love to do. Thank you so much, Goggos. I appreciate it. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Thank you. Ten steps ahead of us at all times. You know it. I have to be. Y'all keep me on my toes. I've got to be. Mm -mm -mm. I never know what y'all are going to do, so I got to think ahead. I'm playing 4D chess over here. Our streamer is so smart. You know, I don't like to brag, but... It's true. It is true. You know, I won't rub it in y'all's face too much, but... You know, it'd it be like that sometimes. A citation needed! <laughs> What's up, LJ? Welcome in. And humble, too, always. I'm always humble. Of course, of course. Alright, gang, are we ready? I don't think so. I just want to say in advance, if I do get lost, I apologize. Because it's probably going to happen. Also, let me know how audio is, as always. Let me know if I'm too loud, not loud enough. Let me know if the game's too loud, not loud enough. All that, all that jazz. I'm going to take a sip of my water. It's hard for me of being this pretty and humble. Exactly. Pell gets it. Pell understands. Mm -hmm. Of course. Alright, are we ready? Can you even fathom being lost? <laughs> wow. Hearing me playing Apex is the most humble. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't played Apex on stream. I think since February. I think the last time I played Apex on stream, I had, um, I think it was a holiday. And it was like during an ice storm. Not really an ice storm. It was just one of those days where it just like iced over and I, no one could go anywhere. And so I played, I stayed home and played Apex. I streamed Apex for a long time, and that was the last time I played Apex on stream. 
I want to start playing it again, but I need to uh, see about getting a new Wi-Fi coon first. Which hopefully I will do. I didn't get around to it this week. Maybe I'll get around to it next week. But uh, hopefully I can start playing some Overwatch and Apex on stream again because I miss it. I miss it. October is probably going to be too... Uh, I'm going to be really busy during October. I have a lot of games planned. So if I do start streaming Apex or Overwatch again, it probably won't be till, no till like November or December. It's been a hot minute or cold given it was February, but... <laughs> but yes, it has been quite some time. But yeah, that, I'm very much wanting to get into that again. I'm still not great at Apex, but I, I, for some reason, love to play. I don't know why I like to do that to myself, but I do. So yeah. Yeah. Alright gang, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I've yapped enough. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's right. There's different save points. Um. Was there like a... Oh, sorry. Was there like a description for any of this? I guess not. Okay, we'll go with the new game. I forgot to check graphics. Hopefully it's fine. Fierce Fathom Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Hey, look at this old computer. Needed copy to get done with the day. Valid. Oh, we're in a cubicle. Bro, this is so cool. We are totally in the 90s right now. Like I said, I really needed coffee. I needed a cup of coffee. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so now we gotta find where the coffee is. Dude, this is like one of those liminal space games. Coffee? Oh my god. Need to prepare a cup of coffee. A Keurig. I needed water. <laughs> Do they often work in the dark? That's what I'm saying. G to throw. I didn't do that. Yeah. I thought this would take place in the 90s, but I guess not. They didn't have Keurigs back then. Don't explode like my Keurig pods. This one looks like a fancy one, though. He looks fancy. Needed to put on a lid. No, you don't. You don't need a lid. But whatever. Yeah. Why? Okay, this isn't realistic for Mia, by the way. I would not drink coffee black. Needed to use the restroom because, of course, you... Oh, that scared me. Because of course you do. You just drank coffee. No, I I have to have cream and sugar. Is this a, that's the supply room. Um, black coffee is no, it's not. LJ, I'm so sorry, but it's not. That is so wrong of you. Mia is a white coffee drinker. I'm, I like coffee with my creamer that's how much creamer i use whatever flavor my creamer is that's what i'm drinking like technically they released the first curated coffee makers in 98 so it could be <gasps> really i didn't know that that is a possibility then this is a horror game. No creamer. That's what I'm saying. Am I gonna have to... 
Couldn't do it with the door wide open. Alright, I'm about to piss. Everyone look away. What? Y'all, someone else is in here. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. I like to clean light because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working light again, huh? Yeah, well... You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. But maybe check to see if anyone's in here next time. Dude, I was done with it. Okay. That spooked me. <laughs> this game's gonna make me need to tinkle. <laughs> uh, why is face cup? What? My phone's ringing. Litter? No. He's gonna pick it up in a second. Oh, is this the Krusty Krab? Go for Sydney Harper? Who's this? What? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Just so you know, you're on my wall right now. Me, it's on the Jumbotron. What's up, Santo's wall? Hello. <laughs> oh my god, didn't realize anyone was here. Guess I'll talk to you instead of leaving. Jesus, I can't believe we've already had a jump scare. What's up, what's up, Santo? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Good morning, I should say. Oh! <gasps> uh. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> Uh. Mike, Mike, I have, you're probably not wrong. No, it even cut out, I, I don't know, I was starting to think you were ignoring me. Awkward laugh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> what are you still doing at work? Make it even more it's awkward for him. Late. Work has been overwhelming me lately. Just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Mike, please leave me alone. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Uh, I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper, I don't wanna stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Wait, why, why do I have to do it? Why don't you do it? Hey. Oh, no. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. I am so not feeling this. It's a no from me, dog. It's a no from me, dog. Oh, no. I have to say yes, apparently. I'm just gonna say sure. Great. 
Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. I guess, Mike. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Okay. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Excuse me? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Hang up. I will do this for Nora, but not for you. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Hang up. When you book the rental, make sure there's no HUD. There's no roof under our heads, actually. Specifically under his head. Specifically. 704 Malik, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. I hope you are having a lovely day. Sorry, I have to... Alright. Yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Yo, yo, yo. Hope you're doing well today. Playing a little bit of spooks. Over, actually, but these cheese... cheese its are hitting at 7... Oh, God, I freaking love cheese its Jesus. Oh, what is this? A little mini game? Aliens? Oh! It's a typing game! Oh, I used to be so badass at these. Oh, boy. Oh. 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 Dude, this is sick. Pete Asimo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Oh. Dude, my accuracy is 99%. Unmatched. Oh. Dude, this is so cute. What the heck? Oh, God. I'm gonna get... Oh, he's running. Oh, God. This is such a cool game, dude. Dude, I got a score of 184, accuracy of 97%, and a health 60. Dude. Me is goaded at typing games, that's right. Honestly, when I was younger, uh, my school made me play typing games a lot because all of our curriculum was on a computer so they wanted to make sure we were able to type i guess at a fast paced level i don't know this makes me think of the typing of the dead game i've never heard of that before that's pretty cool i remember playing mario typing games back way back when the one that i played i'm gonna play this again actually the one that I played, uh, I believe it was called Mavis Beacon. Um, Mavis Beacon teacher typing or something like that. Ooh. We're gonna see if we can get a better high score here. Oh!
Oh my god. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> Free leg experiment? Uh, oh! I did it! 205. Oh, beat mini, beat mini game with H with 70 plus HP. Let's go. I got an achievement for that. All right, we're done. No more. We had these stupid little machines to teach us to type, and it could tell if we were slouching or not, and we had to s have a certain words per minute. I hated it. Dude, that's kind of crazy. What kind of machine could tell if you were slouching? That's really weird. I also brought up Mario teaches typing to your VTuber family members, so at this point, I'm wondering how long it'll be until you all commit <laughs> <laughs> to the bit and actually play it. I didn't even know Mario had a typing game. That's insane. I did not know that. Oh, I can just type. Mineralcabin.com Is it gonna take forever? Are we on dial-up? Okay. Find a place. Woodbury. Can I search? It's a peaceful cabin. Look at that. Nothing could go wrong in this place. Even got nice flowers. Looks really homey. Let's see. <laughs> Until it did go wrong, exactly. Oh wait, hold on. Let's. Okay, we had it has to be under a uh, hundred dollars, so we can't book this cabin. Computers were so new when I was a kid. They were teaching me to type on computers with floppy disk and mouse mouses that weren't new. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, we were also. The com type of computers we used, um, I think they were Dells or something like that. They were old. Okay, this place is 199 a night. We can't book this one. Private cabin in Woodbury. This one is $99. Wait, can you really choose which one? Or does it make you choose the one that's below 100? I'm kind of curious. I still type the same way because they taught me the hand placement and all. Yeah, um, the games that I would use or that they made me play also taught hand placement. So, like, whenever I have to type out a lot of things, which I usually do for work, I always weirdly keep that in mind. So, I, I still type the same way, too. This place doesn't look bad for under $100. Like, it actually looks nice. It even has Wi-Fi. Okay. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds, 1.5 shared bathrooms. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be me, Mike, and what was her? Nora. So yeah, this looks like it's gonna be perfect. And nothing is going to go wrong. Back in my day, the mouse had balls. <laughs> Oh my god, when you had to hardball an egg to replace the ball if you lost it. Jesus. Mia picks the most unspooky place and now we're not getting scared in Barbie land. But 
it. Wait, I don't even think I can go back, can I? I can't go back. I'm stuck here. It's gonna make me. Dang, they didn't want my information or nothing. I didn't have to put in a credit card. I didn't have to put in my name, my address, my social security number, my banking account. Dang. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Oh? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big cons consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break for, from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Oh, Mike. Two days later. Oh god, Mike. Hello. With your little PSP. What the heck? <laughs> what do you call that? Oh. Press escape to read messages. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna sit in this elevator and read these really quick. They're charging you when you get. They're charging you when you get to the property. The only deposit you gave them was your social security number. <laughs> All right, let's read this really quick. Uh, from Wick Will bleh, Rick Wilson. What are words? Hi Sydney, thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December tenth to the twelfth. Uh, I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting in. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. All right, so Michael J. Carter just booked... Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Okay. I thought that might have been Mike, but that was not. That was just someone I was riding the uh, elevator with. It's so funny I declined this call, though. I feel oh my god. I didn't even know that was in there. Dude, I almost lost my luggage already. Don't honk your horn at me. I hate that. Mike! Why does he kind of look like Jacksepticeye? <laughs> Harp. Oh, I gotta hug him. That's still how you hug people? That's how I hug you. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a test hug to see if you smell first. <laughs> and she lost her only weapon. Uh, let's let's just let's just mess with him. Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Yeah, judging a hug, how rude. First a quick hug, then an elbow to the ribs. Yeah, exactly. Now I gotta give him a long hug. You look good. Thanks for picking me up! <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right, this bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get 
on our way. Wait, where's my stuff? All right. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Wait, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. I guess we're not picking up Nora then. I was under the impression that we were going to pick up Nora. And I just think that it's weird that you promised Nora would be here and suddenly she's not. I don't like it. He's sus already. Okay, that's a cool bobby bobblehead. It was starting to snow. Uh, Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know? Suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to, a, to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far for you? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? Oh, we got a, we got a text. <laughs> we consult, Mike. That sounds like important work. All right, let's see. You just didn't check the trunk. Oh my God. Harp, do you ever miss? Did I miss something? That school bus, there was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. It was apparently the school bus that drew our attention for some reason. You know, sometimes, you know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. Oh God, we're gonna hit a deer. Oh snap. That was close, Mike. Keep your eyes on the road. Stop looking at me when you're talking. I read on that. I read on the internet that the Native American lore seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. About what? That I'm gonna get murdered? It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not in the if you're not from the area. Oh my God, Mike! Mike, how far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the inter intergalactic space. What do you mean, Mike? Oh, I get it. Because of all the snow, they look like stars. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Nerd alert. It's kind of beautiful. I just don't like how I was promised that Nora was going to be here and she's not. I don't like that. Because that was almost like a ploy to, like, get me alone with him. And that pisses me off a little bit. So, Harp. Yo, Harp, check that out. A pizza place? Moe's Pizza. We're gonna get some pizza? We're gonna get pizza! Let's go! It's the best thing you've done. Since I've known you for the past 10 minutes. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. That's how GPSs work. 
It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza by myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. It's pizza time! Let me see what Rick sent me. I didn't get to read it. Uh, We're on our way and we should be there around 6pm. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Oh, this is our- oh, this is our group chat. Why does he keep interrupting me? I'm trying to read text messages. Mike. Come on, him. Thank you. I guess I'm not reading the text messages. I guess I'm on your time now. Dude. I can change the radio station. The sound of eating is gross. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? No, all the music in this game is copyright free. It says so as soon as you load in the game, it says all music is copyright free, so you don't have to worry about it. Thankfully. Thankfully. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. For you, miss? Ooh, what do we want? I definitely want a pepperoni. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking we get all three slices of pepperoni. Because I like me some pepperoni pizza. And I'm a little picky when it comes to pizza. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little picky. I have very specific toppings that I like. Hmm. Fortunately, I work late, so I have to dip, but I have, hope y'all have a fun stream. Right, for wife, I couldn't piece you can. Thank you, Pill. I appreciate it. Uh, please take care. Have a good evening at work. And I will see you later. And thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. We're gonna get all three slices of pizza. All three slices of pepperoni, I should say. Any drinks? Do you have root beer? That should cover us. Just the pizza. We're just gonna eat this pizza and not have anything to drink? Mike, what is wrong with you? You're on my nerves. Honestly, bro. Six hot slices coming up. How are we gonna... He's a cheapskate! I would have gladly paid for the freaking drinks. $22. If we would have added drinks, it would have been probably $32. And you know what? That's fair. Should I make him pay for it? Should I make him pay for it? I'm not paying. This was his idea, right? Oh man, Wi-Fi kind did hiccup. Oh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can get him up and going again. Yeah, you scuff, scuff, scuff. Let's see. If it keeps doing this, we'll uh we'll move to Discord. Oh, 
Oh, Wafakun, you are not going to be lasting me very much longer, and I will happily throw you into the trash can. I am so replacing you next week, it's not even funny. Just <laughs> compression on Wi-Fi good. Let me see here. Uh, usually he corrects himself, like it just takes him a second. But if he doesn't, I will see if I can uh, stop the stream and start it again. And see if that helps. Okay, I think we're back. Okay, we're back. Oh, Wi-Fi Kun, you are getting... You are so... Getting replaced next week. I Because I am sick of you. Also, I was looking on my ISP's website... Yesterday or the day before. And they've now come out with a... another hot spot. And... It's a little bit more heavy duty than this one. A bit, so I'm a l I'm, I'm kind of hoping it does better. Hopefully. We'll see though. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can get going again, and just let me know if we scuff out. Pull up Wi-Fi gun with Tannerite. I would so freaking do that. He left his wa. Oh wait. Oh snap! I left my wallet in the car. Do you have the cash, Harper? He's gonna make me pay for it. He's gonna make me freaking pay for it. This dude. Your number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Bro. You're not even gonna get a drink. And you're gonna make me pay for it anyway. Wow. Hold on. I just realized I didn't fix something. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I did. All right. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. We just do we just wait? Oh, we got a we got a voice message. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Welp. Oh, look, there's the rent cap in place. So 
So what do we do? Do we just do we sit here? Do we, what do we do? I can't get up. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. It looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, yeah, that's our order. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's our order. Uh... Yeah. Wait, how do I... Alright, you folks are all set. Thank you. I vote still Mike's truck. I vote same. Nom 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 nom. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. So like a puzzle or... <laughs> Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Oh man. I'm so... Okay, thank you so much for the care package. I really appreciate it. Water stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ugh. All right. Oh, that sound, the sound of eating, right? I think it's funny. Uh, oh, you can eat the crust. It's gonna say, what the? Hey there, my friends. We're not friends, but hello. I saw y'all pull in the driveway that nice. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Nope, absolutely not. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Nope. I don't care. You mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might as well eat the box too. <laughs> like the freak you are. Oh man. I'm just gonna tell him no. Like that's just absolutely. I'm not doing that. No, you kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? I don't care. I don't. E you ain't too kind, are you? I don't care. Screw off. I am not doing it. Sorry. Well, that was weird. Yeah, thanks for chiming in, by the way. That was really nice of you to do that. Hey, didn't even he didn't even order anything. I need to make sure he wasn't going to, like, try and jack our car or nothing. He took a- oh wait, no, he's still over there. <laughs> Walking in this ice, I assume you're sliding down the road. Dim Harp, you actually eat the crust? I mean, IRL, I'm not a big crust enjoyer. I usually don't eat the crust. I need a tire if I was hungry enough. Fair enough, but eat someone else's tires. We've still got a bit of driving to do. Like, if I'm super hungry, I will eat the crust, but usually I don't. The pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of the trip. We're gonna burp. Uh. <laughs> Wait, you can continuously burp? Oh, never mind. Okay, we got another text. Drive slow to- okay, wait. Okay. Holy 
hopefully that was good. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see, if my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Harp, the weather is awful. Why this poor guy can't get past because Mike's in the way. Like, dude, I understand. <laughs> Mike always be in the way. Why don't you drive uh, part of the way home? Take a break while driving, Michael. I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Okay, yeah, deal. Take the keys. Stuffed crust is- I will eat stuffed crust. No joke, I will eat stuffed crust. Um. It's almost as if everything Mia dislikes is what I like. Save some crust for me next time. Absolutely. If we ever eat pizza, you can have the crust. Hello? Okay, here we go. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Wazd to drive. Okay. WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your okay, hopefully I don't, gentlemen. like, kill anybody or kill us by accident. Snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So, here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Neb and Ultras. Stay warm. Oh, this this music is so nice. Oh! Bro, you were on my side of the road. That wasn't on me. Stay on your side of the road. Oh god. Oh, we're not even on the road. Okay, here we go. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. Wait, Woodbury is this way have you ever taken his this truck up any sweet jobs slow Dude, I don't- I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not quite entirely sure- Oh, there's a cop! There's a cop! The pup almost hit me! Did y'all see that? I had to pull off to the side or that cop was gonna hit me. I saw that. I saw it. Step into my room, be with bloody lips, saying that she loved me but never really did. Maybe I should go walk over the mountains. Okay. Find a new home. We're in Woodbury now. Where the town is. I could spend a year alone and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. I know that I'm weak. I drove past our cabin at first. Wait, how am I supposed to know where the cabin is? I think that I did it. Is a good time to Oh, is that it? It's a good time to start. Good time to start. Is this it? Where's the drop in even at? Sunset dreams and nights that I never knew. Heart feels warm. Where the fuck is Kevin? And I laughed, running all the way to you. Is this place, but the town don't want me. Is this it? Where's my gym clothes? I will never know. Why are we getting out here, Hart? Because I don't know where it's at. Oh, is that it over there? Hold on. This is a uh, our getting lost arc. Because I think it's I think it's this one over here. 
I could spend a year alone and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest. I think it's this one. Is it this one? I know that I don't wait. Need more love inside my heart. Didn't want to change, but I think that this should be it. Okay, yeah, there it is. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. You didn't even tell me. I'm getting out of the car. I'm going to kill him before this week is over. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Checked every cabin neighborhood until I found the right one because Mike is a prick. <laughs> Dude, why do you- what's in the cooler? The door was locked. I had to get the key from the lockbox. Oh, that's right! That's right! So the lockbox is 5176. Five. One. Seven. Six. Obtained. All right. We're in. Dude, this is a nice place for under a hundred dollars. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Well, then go. Don't tell me about it. While I'm gone, can you put the groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. All right. The house was cozy and well furnished. I'm just gonna throw my crap there. I don't like. Why is the music like that already? Hold on. All right. Let's put our stuff up. Milk. Milk. Eggs. That's funny because I need to hit the mic. <laughs> Fuck. How's the game going? It goes. We got jump scared like five minutes into it. It was great. <laughs> I've established that I don't like Mike. He pisses me off. Like a lot. What's up, Lyra? Welcome in. Had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw you. Ooh, sorry about that heart. Why are Are you okay? Long driving all that pizza really did a number on me. Um well all the groceries are put away now. Thanks for handling that heart. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Uh, it's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be right back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Okay, I'm just gonna like throw that. Oh, that was sick. Okay. But we're gonna go take a piss really quick. The smell alone told me pizza had really done for the Mike. Bro, Mike. His stomach. His poor stomach. Escape to text Rick. Oh yeah, we're gonna text him while we're pissing. Okay, hi, I've checked in. Or we've checked in. Oh, that's cool. You can, um... Oh, you can switch it up now. That's cool. Oh, nice. All right, let's get up. I guess, okay, cool, we flush. They added washing hands, thank God. You feeling better after the drive? Uh, I'm good, wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me, let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Sounds good. Let's go exploring. This is actually a really cute cabin. 
I don't like the placement of it. It looks... I don't know. I just don't like the placement of it. It kind of freaks me out a little bit, but... And I don't like this music. It's getting really cold. <laughs> no jump scare after using the bathroom? What even is this game? Ooh. It's got a freaky little... Why did you shut the door? This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. I don't like how he... I don't like that. Also, Mike is sus. I don't like him. I don't... I don't trust him. Um... Oh, cool. It's like a little place to paint. Okay, I think... Comic, please. You scared me, rather. <laughs> that scared me more than anything. I was like, oh. What's up, Comic? Welcome in. Jesus fuck Christ, Mike. Oh. What's up, Comic? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Friday. <gasps> Lost word! The living room is bigger than my apartment. It's a pretty map. Are you exhausted and yes. desperately need a break? Yes. Is your 9 to 5 stressing you out? Yes. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. We it. offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they're also safe, with each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that your stay <gasps> Why is top-notch. What does that look like a jail we photo? We have many options to choose from, including pet-friendly, alcohol-friendly, family-sized, underground, and many more. So if you need a vacation and want it cheap, visit rentacabin.com and enjoy the stay of a lifetime. It's totally safe, y'all. Oh my god, this is great. Why are you always there? You will probably not be murdered. Look now. Oh, can we play games? Unravel the secrets, immerse yourself in mystery. Can we play games? I'm gonna get all of these out. We're gonna play so many games, Mike. We can even summon something! Oh, let's go! Escalators, escalators, escalators! Eels. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun, Mike. Catopoly? It's like my favorite game, Mike. They've got everything in here. Dragon's Labyrinth? Look at it. I've been playing... I don't like how you just do that. Anyway, all of that aside, this looks like a really weird room. Why is there just like a TV right here? Move! Y'all, I'm trapped. Mike won't let me leave. Yo, I'm... Tra okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, bro won't let me leave. Mike, they have tons of all this fun stuff you want to do. Like, I ain't forgot about that, what he said. I didn't forget about that. About how he wanted to do some fun stuff before Nora showed up. I didn't forget. The second he tries something on me... <laughs> oh! 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 oh, Tyrion, thank you so much for the gifted subs! I appreciate it, thank you, thank you. That happened at the worst time. 
Jesus Christ. Oh! Jeez. Oh, Tyrion, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Oh! What's up, Tyrion? I hope you're having a good day. Thank you again for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. At the best time, you mean totally on accident, even. <laughs> Welcome in, Tyrion. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you've had a good week. It's the gen- I That would be really, really weird if it was the janitor again. Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We're not a couple. I'm sorry, Mike, but that just ain't. It ain't. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering the question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you... Never mind. Mike, it was not gonna happen, dude. It wasn't, and I'm sorry. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. Oh. Uh, hi, Waris. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. It's good to have you. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Yeah, the best part about this week is that it's basically over. You know what? That is very true. Absolutely 100%. Couldn't believe there wasn't an ooh option. <laughs> Gotta really hit my cup where it hurts. Dude, there is so much that is unattractive about Mike. Mostly because of the fact he made me pay for the pizza earlier. Like, oopsie. I left my wallet in the truck, like, not even let me go get my wallet really quick. It was like, tee -hee. I left my wallet in the car. Do you mind paying for it? No. Like, that's just... I, I won't... That's... That's... Mm. There should have been an option to laugh uproariously at the very idea, just to really murder him. <laughs> I love all of these extra options that they should have had. They say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. You hear that, Mike? We're gonna get a TV. That makes everything better, right? Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Oh, okay. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Dude, this is a big place. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Okay. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is really nice. I like it. Look, Harp, this view this room has a nice ass view. Grand tour. Oh no, he's gonna make us watch Dragon Ball GT. Oh my god. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Oh my god. My... Why? Oh wow, this is... Oh, we got a balcony! Holy smokes, this is incredible. It's incredibly cold, Mike. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, folks, let's head back in before I catch the coal here again. 
I mean, yeah, it'd be nice during like the spring or summer, but not when it's like five foot of snow outside. So we were curious about why this place was so cheap. Where are you hiding the bodies? Exactly. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on the right. I don't like that. Storms like these, you never know. Alright, folks. Let's head downstairs for now. I don't like that it was showing me where a flashlight was. Don't like that. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up on the fridge with some tasty food. You see that knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay. I don't know what knob you were talking about, by the way. Absolutely no idea, but I guess I'll figure it out. Oh no, it's got a basement. Of course it does. Of course it's got a really freak... <laughs> Mike, get the Ouija board. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Okay, the pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Gotcha. I don't like how he's forewarning me about things. I'm absolutely going to need to do all of this. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Don't ask questions like that, Mike. Mike, what are you doing? It says no access, no guess. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Honestly, at this point... We need to get our stuff and leave, but you know what? That's just not how horror games work. And I can't believe my dad, Mike asked that question because now he's going to be suspicious of us. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Very true. And also, uh, you should probably lock the basement if that's the case because there's 100% going to be people that come down here just to like mess around. Sir, please kill Mike first. I wasn't even going to ask about the door. <laughs> okay, Will. I was just curious. Let's move on. God damn it, Mike. I'm going to beat the shit out of you when he leaves. Go! What is it? Did I mention... Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to my... Don't do that! The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Mike, I told you, go get the Ouija board. Go get the Ouija board right now. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Back it up, we out. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Everyone just stares at each other. <laughs> what is that laugh? The looks on your faces. <laughs> is he just jacking with us? Come on now, I'm just joking. Get out of here, bro. No, but for real, we're gonna get that Ouija board later. At this point, my creepy m creep meter was quietly pinging. Alrighty, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. And never come back. At least while we're here. By the way. What was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. Yo, he for... Yo, he didn't tell us our, his name, did he? Yo, that's not Rick, is it? Oh, I caught him. I think I caught this. I don't think he told us his name. Yo, who is this? It's Sydney. 
Ah, Sydney, that's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Nope. Dude, I don't think that was- I don't think that was Rick. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? No, he's very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> oh my god. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Dude. Oh god, that scared me. The TV scared me. Okay, we're gonna turn that off because I don't like that fuzzy sound. Doesn't need to be like poltergeist up in here. Can we just like shower? Okay, here we go. Dude. I am already sus of Mike, which I think Mike might actually be. Like, I think Mike is harmless. Like, it, at first, I didn't like how he said Nora was coming, and then suddenly, oh, Nora's not coming. It's just going to be me and you riding all the way up here by ourselves. And, uh, I don't like how he said that we were going to be able to do quote unquote fun stuff before Nora shows up. And I'm like, mm, no, we're not. And then that guy just now. I don't think he was with the booking. The tap didn't work. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh man. So many red flags already. Also, Mike, I swear to God, if you pop out at me, I'm gonna choke slam you. So freaking hard. What do you want? Hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned it, that would be a pretty epic ad addition to the trip. Let's do it. I want to fish. I do know that this game has a fishing mechanic and I want to try it. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Let's go. Let's freaking go. It's the best idea you've had since... I don't know, since this whole game started. Like, this is the thing I was super excited about when I heard about this game. Fishing mini game, let's go! Dude, get out of the freaking way! Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Okay. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp. Harp. Wow. Okay, please don't make rhymes. <laughs> Let me grab the bait. Okay, so we're looking for... I can't freaking read that. Okay, here we go. Uh... Common carp. Okay, it's cheese. Okay, so it's like... We can use cheese... And... Sweet corn. Dude, is that real? I didn't know that, if that's true. We we'll use cheese. Put on hook. Oh, hell yeah. Also, I've fished a lot out of a creek before. Can you catch carp out of a creek? We mostly just caught perch and brim. And maybe like... I hope those carp are biting today. I guess maybe it probably depends on where it's at. Exactly. Well, there went the bait. I accidentally... 
Okay, we put it on the hook. I'm gonna throw that down here. Okay, okay, it's in the water, it's in the water. Oh! Wait, A, oh, okay, it's A and D, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. I, it takes me a second, give me a second. You didn't catch anything either. Oh! Oh, it's just like, um... Almost kind of like, um... Uh, Stardew Valley. I got a smallmouth bass. We're gonna throw it back though, we're not wanting that. It was a great success. What's the matter, Mike? All that smack talk, you ain't calling nothing yet. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <gasps> no! No, come here, come here, come here, come here. I got you, I got you, let's go. I got a carp! Keep. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. You'd be correct. All right, let's get some more. I threw it over here. All right, let's go. Dude, this is so relaxing, honestly. Dude, 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 do you see that over there? The hitchhiker, the hitchhiker is over there to the left. Oh no, bro, he was over there. I saw him. I forgot about that. Dude, there was someone over there just now. I don't like that. Also, this music is so nice. You gotta watch your surroundings in this game. Oh, rip. That was my bad. I wasn't paying attention because now I'm looking for that guy again. Let's go, let's go. Ah. Let's go. Keep. All right, we need one more. One more, one more. And then we're eating fish tonight. I've never had carp before, though. I've only ever had bass, crappie, and catfish. And salmon. I don't even think I've had tilapia before. Oh, sick, we got it. Looks like we got three carb. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. That was fun. What a cool little mini game. I think there's even a guitar out here. Yeah, I don't think carp would taste very good. Can I like... Oh, okay, there it goes. Why does it, why does it sound like that? I don't like that. Um, I can't imagine carp tastes very good, and I wouldn't say that I've even actually heard... It's not good. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping their marinade? Sure. I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste. I'm not gonna remember how to do this. Ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Yeah, sure, okay. Well, so Why is this open, Mike? Someone's been in here. Why 
like someone's been in here. Oh, okay, salt. Black pepper. Paprika. I don't know what's... Okay, yes, paprika. Uh, Italian seasoning. Ginger garlic paste. Olive oil. Where's the oil at? If that was olive oil, where would I be that? It would be here, right? Oh, up here, up here. And yogurt. I don't know that'd be in here, right? Oh, yes, let's go. Okay. Look at me cooking. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to put that there. Why do I have milk? I grabbed this by accident. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? I didn't mean to grab this. I have it. Anyway, I hope we don't need that milk for later. So we need to put... I had to add the fish first. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Two carp. The marinade. Now could you add... Yes! Just let me do it. I read it. Needs to go in for 30 minutes to 40. Okay. And then we stick it in here. Boom. We're cooking. Literally. Those carp are going to taste amazing. I don't think so, Mike. I really don't. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some... We're gonna get the Ouija board out. Just grab whatever catches your eye. I can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some... Hey, let me see. Do you really get to play whatever board game? What do you want to play? I want to get the Ouija board. Um... Mega rounds? I don't know what that one is. I kind of want to do either... Uh, the Ouija board. Uh. Wait, where's... Ah, oh, here it is. Snakes and ladders. Because Spongebob. Let's get the Ouija board. Hey, let's summon that old lady he was talking about. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Yes. Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we try- <gasps> Dude, he's got my same thought! He's got my same thought, let's go! That's a great idea! Alright, let's go! Mike! Sometimes! I'm gonna get a bad end, ain't I? I wonder how many ends there are to this. Because we're not supposed to be down here, but I gotta do it. The intrusive thoughts are winning. Watch out for spiders. Oh, shit. It's the real horror. Oh, it's even got a little table. Dude, we're gonna get murdered so hard down here. You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all of these lights and see if this thing really works. Wait, where are the light switch is that? I can't turn that off. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? I mean, yeah, I think so, but let's go with no for now. So here's how it works. First, we place our fingers lightly on the planchette. We have to ask questions in the spirits if there are any. We'll move the planchette to spell out the answers. 
Or at least that's what Molly told me. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchet until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Got it. Alright, then you go first. I'm trying! Wait. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? I am not catching any of this. Im Im what? No, wait, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Be, be respectful, Mike. Is it spelling out anything? Uh, are you friendly? My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Mike, you are the exact type of guy that would piss off a ghost. <laughs> Mike, you left me! I'm usually not one to believe in ghost or spirits. Mike, you freak! You left me! But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Mike left me! You jerk! This jerk left me down there! <laughs> There's some freaky shit going on on there, Harp. Yeah, and you freaking left me! That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me! What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass though. But you need to make sure- You know what? This is so funny. Because this guy supposedly has a crush on this char on on me as my character. You just straight up leave me. Also, this is the same guy that made me pay for his pizza earlier. So I guess nothing should surprise me. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Yeah. But still people you care about should come first, Jesus. Crazy. Sydney, I'm sorry. Whatever, dude. Not that there was any chance to begin with, but if there ever was, it's over now. It's Jover. You can forget it. Eat this nasty carp. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Jesus Christ. That's your plate? Dang, we're eating like kings tonight. <laughs> All these freaking board games. Ah, oh, crap. We forgot to turn on the TV. The spoonful of mayonnaise. Oh, man. This delicacy is very Mike is only useful as involuntary meat shield. Yes. Flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water we're gonna water. watch this while we so eat first, we are gonna prepare the asparagus season these with a lot of salt <laughs> hell yeah best salt show is good for the bones after letting <laughs> oh these my simmer God. in the salt bath we can start making the chocolate and take a couple cocoa beans ah uh, yes why the do you lick his lips like that be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. 
Here you are. Anyway, I'm not gonna listening lie. to my cooking. Oh, that shopping. was great. This is the brain of the man. Harp, that was some damn fun food. Twice we, we as good since we caught the fish ourselves. A little anesthesia to make sure it, it was alright. You don't have to write on my parade, Harp. It was no most pizza, but I thought it turned out well. After doing that, hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought you were checking, taking a break from work. It's not work, I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up here. Soaked ramen. Now this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will I mm. Dude, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, like Nora said she was gonna be late, but I don't think I don't she did send a voice message whenever we were in the pizza place. But I have a feeling something might have happened to Nora. Gasoline soaked ramen. I heard gasoline. I heard gasoline. I'm like, mm, no. Dude, was that? Okay, it's just cars passing by. I don't know, man. I'm really freaked out right now. I feel like Nora should have been here already. And I don't like how Mike isn't really bringing up the subject. Was that the end game just now or was that me? Like, is there... I had to get both of our plates. What the fuck is Mike's plate? Oh, pff, it's under the... That's why I didn't see it. Yo, I think Nora's dead. I think Nora died. But I don't know. I feel like Nora should have been here. Please don't make me be stuck here with Mike. God, this game always has like the best ambient noises. Why is Mike texting me? I think there's someone- What do you want me to do about it, Mike? Mike, what do you want me to do about that? What? Call the police. You want me to come up there and save you? Elevator away. Good luck with that. I'm gone. My Jesus Christ. Yo, what's up, Azer, and welcome in. Are you winning? I oh. don't. To make sounds, walk slow. Where's Mike's room? I guess it's in here. Mike, I swear to God, if you pop out, I'm gonna lose it. <gasps> we are going to collectively kill Mike. There's a creek out back. We can do it in the shed. There's no one around. Except for the, the hitchhiker guy, but if he says something, you know, we can do him in too. But I feel like we could do this in the shed. And we can toss him in that creek and no one's going to know a thing about it. It's a plan. We can do it. It turns out we were the murderer the whole time. What a turn of events. It's on sight. I fucking hate Mike. I knew I disliked Mike from the second I talked to him on the phone. You're lucky I didn't break your freaking nose, Mike. 
My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. Mm. It's not cool, Mike. This place is already freaking weird. It's not a joke. I'm literally going to strangle you with my bare hands. You want to go for the next round? Mike? Um... No. Something's off about Mike, y'all. I know... I don't know. Like, at first I thought, yeah, you're sus. And then I'm like, nah, he's kind of innocent. He's just stupid. But now I'm thinking he might... I don't know. I don't like him. I'll get back at you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. I didn't agree to this! I don't like hide and seek. I'm not good at it. Also, where am I supposed to hide? Oh. I hide in the shed. And when he finds me in the shed, that's when I do it. That's when we collectively murder him. What are we? Are we like freaking 10 years old? What are we doing? I decided to hide in the basement. Oh yeah, he's not going down there. Brosif hates the basement. But also, we experienced something very weird earlier. So why I decided to hide in the basement, I don't know. Okay, I can't go in there. The intrusive thoughts won. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Aha, uh -huh, you got me. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Mike was hiding. Space to close your eyes. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Did I crouch earlier? How do I uncrouch? Y'all, how do I uncrouch? It's control, isn't it? C to stand up. Okay. Alright, now we gotta find Mike. Hide outside, Mike, and I'll come find you. C. I got it. I got it. I'm so used to control being... Con being crouch. Yo, he's gonna pop out at me again, isn't he? I'm literally... I would literally love to punch his lights out. He's upstairs, isn't he? Oh, this door's shut. He's in here. Found you. I got you. I'm too smart for you. 
Hang on, Harper. I think I heard something up. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You're going to try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something slipping up. Sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. And you want me to go up there? Is that what you're saying? I couldn't reach it with the... Did you shut me in here? You little jerk. What you... I couldn't reach it without a step stool. Where am I going to find a step stool? Also, it looks like my mic doesn't attach. I wonder if it chose the wrong microphone. <laughs> Mike, you are just the worst. I freaking hate Mike so much. All right, we need to find a step stool. Probably in storage, if I had to guess, huh? Probably storage. Um. Also, I don't like how... Uh, it, whenever I closed the door to that closet, it turned on my mic immediately, so I probably might have- Oh, there's the step stool. I walked right past it. Yeah, you see that? See how it has my mic attached? I might have to hide in here later. What? Someone lives up here. <laughs> oh, it's a cat. Oh. Thanks for handing us the step stool that's right next to you, Mike. Oh my god, there's a cat. Oh my god, does it have two different colored eyes? It's just like me, for real. Can I pet? Can I? No, can I hold? I won't hold you. She's so cute. Hey, Mike. There's a big scary cat up here. You little weenie. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you are the only person. <laughs> I gotta say it. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Better than you. And you know it. Exactly. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her some of the carp after I come find you again. Are we still playing this game, really? Are we really, Mike? This is so stupid. I decided to hide in the, do the tool shed in the backyard. The tool shed in the backyard. Dominance asserted. I don't know, do I turn off the lot? I'm kind of scared to. Whatever, I'm not scared of nothing. Yo, if there ends up being another person out here, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, he's gonna see me. He's gonna see me peeking. Remain calm. Oh, that would be really funny if I could. No, I think it opens the other way. So it wouldn't matter. Can he see me? This is a stupid game anyway. I kind of don't care if he sees me. Why are we playing hide and seek is what I want to know. Aha, there you are. Tim Harper, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. 
My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I don't... Mm. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house and we're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Where's Nora? <sighs> Y'all, he's gonna be dead, isn't he? He's gonna be freaking dead. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. He is going to be deceased. I know this. He gonna be dead. Dead. <laughs> exactly! Nora is still out there! Like, why aren't we worried she's not here yet? Mike only cares about himself. We've already established this. Dude, I don't know. Where could he be? I'm gonna look all down here first, wherever. Like, the uh, small rooms and such. Did y'all hear that? Bro, bro, he's in the basement. Bro, someone's in the basement. Okay, maybe it's not the basement. Maybe it was from upstairs. Oh, he's working on the sink. He's working on the sink. <laughs> I didn't get jump scared by that because I remembered the sink needed to be fixed. Oh. Oh my god. I was like, oh, he's getting murdered right now. But I'm like, wait, the sink needed to be fixed in here. And he said he was going to come do it. That jump scare didn't get me. Too smart for it. Why the hell are you back in here again? Vixen the faucet, you got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. But you have tenants stay in here. Not tenants, uh, renters? You have people staying here. We need to know when you're here. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed a m you <laughs> You ever fixed many faucets your yourself, young man? Didn't think so, so I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Hee <laughs> hee Look, we need to get- we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we, don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Mike, just shut up. Okay, just let me handle this. Hey, no cops in Woodbury, son. Think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. We have plenty of faucets in here. We don't need that one. Get out of here. I know this is your house, but still, get out of here. Oh my god. Oh. He's still pretty sus to me. I don't like him. But I'm almost wondering... Dude, there is a culprit in this game. And I can't figure out who it was. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. 
Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. No, 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 no. The music stopped. I'm gonna go answer it. Oh, my. We are never going anywhere together again. I hope you understand this. Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on your freaking door, Mike. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk to you about something. Mike. Mike, I don't... The storm is starting to really get bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. I'm that Spongebob meme right now. Where it's the boy. Like, deep breath. Boy. I... The way that he is so unconcerned for Nora right now. I don't like that. What do you mean you're here to keep me safe? What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? My... What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Well, I mean, he does own the place, but it kind of sucks that he keeps barging in on people. Oh, internet gun is going down. God dang it, internet gun. Hold on. He's going down. He's yelling timber. And I am so getting a new internet next week. You are going into the trash, son. What if I couldn't know? He going down. Okay, wait, he's back. He's back. Because I'm tired of messing with you. And I'd like to get this taken care of before spooky season. Okay, wait, he's back now. He's back. He heard me talking. He heard me talking about him. But yeah, he will be being replaced next week. I don't even care. I do not even care. Alright. Can you just believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does technically own the place. You know exactly what I mean, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with, Mike. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Now... Um, excuse me? I'm not, is it going to prompt me to do that? Do I have to? God dang it, Wi-Fi.
He pissing me off for real, for real. Nah. Nah. Hold on. Let me try something really quick. I'm gonna try something really quick. Oh, hey, did that help? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I might have fixed it, I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright, let's go with this. I don't want to sit next to him. Harp, you know, I miss this. Uh, it's just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. But I would like to, Mike. I would like to very much sleep alone. I don't know where Nora's at, and I don't know if you've done something to her. Where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward, I guess. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm... Hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. What? Like, I don't think this is a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Yes, absolutely. We're on our way. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our ass... Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll help go help Nora. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some food and rest and stay warm. I don't like that. There was no prompt for me to go with him. Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna do something to Nora, isn't he? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I gotta leave. I gotta get out of here. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure to save this drive in this way? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. I don't want to hug him! Makes us catch the fish, wash the plates, go into the attic, and now he's going to go help Nora? Sus. Yeah. Bro's been making me do everything up until this point. I don't like it. 
Not now, Mike. I don't know, dude. I was keen on getting sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Mm -mm. Man, I don't like it. I don't like it. I told myself I just need one shot. I swear to God, I told myself things would go better, would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. I don't think Nora's coming. I don't think Nora's coming. Dude, why? Someone was at the front door. realization that someone was outside. Wait, what did that say? Fuck. I don't like how he's banging on my door. Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two hours. Is it the hitchhiker guy? You're not coming in, end of story. You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek? I told you that was him! I told you that was him! I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Do, 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 do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is there a phone in here? But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. You're gonna go back to sleep. Girl. Really? Really? I'm gonna go to bed with the bedroom door wide open. That's fair. That's crazy. What? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. someone here there's someone we met driving down here he was banging on the door and started threatening me i'm pretty scared and think i hear him moving out around outside the house could you please come look since you live so close oh dude 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 dude, dude. i don't want to leave do i just wait for rick Oh, he's asleep. It's like 1 a.m. Oh. oh, he's here again. Oh, it's Rick. 
Oh man, do I open the door? I think I'm gonna do it. I don't like how it's like a choice, but. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh shit. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't go anywhere. Bro, 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 bro. He should be back soon. You're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but he'll be back soon. Oh, I'm trapped. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what's he doing? What? What is he doing? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Dude, it sounds bad out there. Oh, I knew it wasn't him! I knew it wasn't him! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! I knew it wasn't him! I knew it wasn't him! Oh. Oh, no, no, no. What do I do? What do I do? He's gonna kill me. I can't go back upstairs. Oh, he's just gonna stare. We're gonna stare down. What do I do? I can't go out. I knew it wasn't him. I knew it wasn't him. I knew it wasn't him. What do I do? What do I do? Ah! Basement! Basement! Yo, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. What do I do? Okay, the music's- the music- no, the music's still going. Oh, what do I do? He's just standing there. Menacingly! I don't want to talk to him, no! Everything okay, miss? Yeah, it's fine. I feel late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? As my friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. My name's not Rick! We need to leave. Confront. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine, this house and you. You're trespassing. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What is he doing? What is he doing? Where did I go wrong?
wrong. What? Rick, okay, hold on. So you don't leave the house. What do you do? Good luck here to struggle. What? Okay, wait, we're going to open the door. Okay, let's... Uh, he should be back soon. Okay. Dude, what? Okay, he's gonna go and then he's gonna... Okay. So he starts chasing you, but you have to escape somehow. Yeah. I'm thinking because I don't think you would have to really escape from anywhere else like you have to go through the door I would think I would think so we're gonna try it Okay. Bro, what? He's nailing the front door shut, by the way. I couldn't figure out if he was, like, messing with the knob. If he's nailing the front door shut. Oh man. Wait, what if I already had this open? What if I did that? He's probably gonna kill me immediately, isn't he? Obviously. What do you do? Okay, like, let's... If he's nailing the front door shut... I don't think we go down into the basement again. Now chill out, I'm trying to think here. Because there's only so fast you can run. Yeah, you can't do anything. Knee to the groin, you know what? I'm willing to try that. I'm trying to think if there was actually anything I ran into. I don't think I can 
go back upstairs either. Huh. Can you? Alright, we're gonna try we're gonna try going upstairs and hiding. We're gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna come in here. Dun, dun, dun. That's out of the question. You can't get near him, period. So the only thing I know to do is to go into the at not the attic, the um the basement. This is a struggle. Like what the heck? Or we could just simply not let him in. I know there has to be a way to escape him. I just haven't figured it out yet. Don't feel safe opening the door. You're going to be sorry. to talk to him. I went to the wrong. I hey. went to the wrong bedroom. I should have went to the other bedroom where I could hide. God dang it! I went. To, I panicked and went to the wrong bedroom. That's okay. We're figuring it out. I got it now. I got it now. That was my bad.
I, I freaked out. I panicked. Wait, I think I can go now, can I? Oh, shit. Go, 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 I assume that sound means that he's gone. Oh my god, he busted down the whole freaking door. Here we go, try again. Yo, if he nailed the door shut, where do I go? If he nailed the door shut... Word of Christ. So the only thing I can think to do is maybe you stay in the closet where he can't hear it? Nora, you've been hanging around with Mike for too long now. Dude, how in the hell? You can't go down to the living room because he's down there just like... Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try hanging out in the closet for a little bit. That wouldn't work either. There's no other hiding spots, is there? There's all there's the balcony room. But he's so freaking fast.
Mm. It didn't work. So. This is insane. I like the, the puzzle of it, though. I think it's cool. This is definitely something different. I like that it's a puzzle, but... I cannot... I cannot think of where else I, I would be able to go. <gasps> oh, crap. I don't want to go outside though. I'm too scared. I don't. I don't think it's safe still. He's still in the house. Mm. He's called 911. So I think bro must have left. I guess we live here now. We, at least we have a cat. We have a cat. But what if we throw the cat onto him and he like... Cool. I'm walking really slow. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we did it, I think. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. Storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. 
I'm gonna drive back. The whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the men we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it was being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. The cops seem to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. At least they got a refund! Survive through the fifth episode. Let's go! What a cool game! I liked it! This is... Hmm... Favorite Fears to Fathom game. I knew Lily Pichu was Nora VA. I'm like, she sounds very familiar. I'm like, that's... I kind of figured it was Lily Pichu. That's really cool. I'm like, she sounds very familiar. That's pretty cool. Would have been an absolute nightmare if they didn't get a refund. I, I would have been pissed. I would have probably sued. Probably. Sick game. Sick. I loved it. Uh, I don't know if it was my favorite. The mechanics were definitely my favorite out of every Fierce to Fathom game. I love, the, of course, the fishing minigame. I love the typing game at the beginning. And I liked how the ending was more of a puzzle you had to think about. That was really cool. I like that, and I hope they, they do something like that in their next game, too. I enjoyed that. It took me a couple of tries, but we got there. Because I like when puzzles in games are not so hard that you actually have to look up a playthrough or a walkthrough or whatever. Uh, and they're just kind of easy to figure out by process of elimination. I think that's cool. I like this game. This game was awesome. I still think, in terms of scary, Ironbart Lookout is probably still the scariest and probably still my favorite. But this one was really cool. I liked it in and of itself. That was awesome. I liked it. Nice, nice. Oh, we did it, gang. In nearly three- I told y'all it would take me about three hours. Oh. Yeah, Lyra. I look forward to seeing you play Arnbar. Look <laughs> out when you finally get to it. <laughs> like, it's... It takes place in the, in the woods. And to me, the woods are, like, terrifying. Anything that has to do with the woods... To, it's like absolutely terrifies me. It's one of the reasons the, Bear, the Blair Witch Project is one of my favorite, or is my favorite uh, horror movie of all time. Yes, that one is The Watchtower. Because the, the woods, the forest or whatever is the number one thing. Well, not number one thing, but it's one of the things that scares me the most. Being out in the woods after dark. Terrifying. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Also, Iron Bark Lookout is an incredible game, and if you've not played it yet, then you should. I just realized my phone is dead. Hold on. Alright, gang. I believe that's gonna be it for today. I'm tired. <laughs> oh my god, and also my arm's hurting, and that sucks. The woods are hella spooky, especially at night. Oh yeah, I live in the middle of freaking nowhere, so I know what that's like. I've also been camping before. I've been, I've definitely been out in the woods after dark before. And some of the things that you hear, uh, close. thank you so much for the biddies. I much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Some of the, uh, things that you hear, like the, the random crunches of leaves, the random twigs snapping. It gets freaky. It gets really weird. Of course, thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna see who's online to raid. My internet doesn't crap itself. 
Let's see. Let's see here. Looks like my VTube sibling Rai is playing Final Fantasy 14. Heck yeah, they are. So we're going to raid out to them. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can get this going here. For everyone, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, next thing that I have going on is tomorrow Cherub, my VTuber sibling Cherub will be having a donathon, And he will be raising money for suicide awareness. I will be there uh, playing some games with him. I believe the stream starts at 8am EST, if I remember correctly. I'll be sure to post it in the Discord, uh, either this evening or tomorrow, so y'all be sure to tune in for that. I will be there to play some games with him. And then I think after that we will have, on Sunday, we will be playing some Lockdown Protocol with some of the Kito fam siblings. I won't be streaming that, but I'll be sure to link the siblings who are. Alright, let me see if I can get this uh, raid going here. So yeah, lots of, lots of fun this weekend. Oh yes, thank you for the for the shout out. Yes, yes, yes. Please be sure if you do not follow Cherub already, please be sure to do so. Because he's great and you should be doing it anyway. You should be following him anyway. Do it now. Because I said so. Let's see. Alright, gang, I will see you all later. Be good. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, and I will catch you all very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.